So the great question is, what is the hardest therapy that I can possibly give somebody to do? Um, arguably, that I do in my practice, exercise or vitamin X because people have a hard time getting it done. Well, there's three tips I wanna give you that'll make it more likely, not positive and not absolute, but it'll be way more likely that you'll succeed at exercise. When you exercise, and I think if you've done any, you'll know, you feel better afterwards, right? That's called positive reinforcement. So be aware that every time that you exercise, you're going to get a benefit from it. So instead of looking at exercise as, oh my gosh, I gotta go out and exercise, find something that you enjoy somewhat. Um, I like biking, I have a stationary bike, I do that some. Um, I like swimming, I like playing with my kids, I like walking, there's lots of things I like. If you don't like weightlifting and it doesn't make you feel good, don't do it, you need positive reinforcement. And no matter what you do, I would like you to view your exercise as something that will make you feel good, not something that you must do. Um, that's number one. Um, number two is social life. People who actually exercise with someone else are almost twice as likely to continue a program. So find a great friend, like my friend Al, or someone else who you can spend some time with and enjoy, and uh, group workouts. Um, we have a whole bunch in our area that CrossFit, some other things where there's a group of people working out, it tends to be much more sticky. People tend to continue to do it again and again. And more than anything else, and I think this is probably the most important point and the most consistent sticking point that will cause people to really exercise long term. First thing in the morning. The reason for that is that self-control, like I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, it wears out during the day. And it's great studies to prove that. Your ability to do something that you're committed to wears out during the day. You just get tired. You get tired of doing it. If you can pack your gym bag in the morning and have that ready, if you have to work out in the evening, that's a better step than not working out at all. But if you can work out in the morning, the likelihood of you doing a workout on a consistent basis is way higher, two or three times higher, that you'll continue to work out on a long-term basis. What does working out look like? We'll talk about that in a minute.